Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hey, how are you? How was your day, Jaime and Maximo? Very good. Pretty good? Yeah. All right. Where are you, what do you do? Where, where did you go? I am driving, teacher, at my home. Oh, you're driving? Yes. You're driving home? Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. What about you, um, Jaime? How was your how was your day? My day is beautiful. <laughs> your day is beautiful? That's yeah. cool. Well, why is it beautiful? <laughs> what happened that made it beautiful? Did anything good happen? No, yes, maybe. Sylvia, welcome back, Sylvia. How are you doing today? Everything good? Sylvia? Can you hear me, guys? Yeah or nay? Yes. All right, great. Okay, all right, excellent. So, um, hello, hello. Hello, hello Sylvia. How, how are you doing? Good evening. I'm sorry. I don't connect. <clears throat> uh, you were not connected. Okay, that's, that's fine, all right? Yes. How's everything today? How was work? Um... Really good. Really good? Yes. All right. Okay. Awesome. 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 Okay. So um so welcome aboard. Excuse my camera, I don't know. So welcome aboard, right? It's really nice seeing you. Um so yesterday, guys, we were talking. Uh we're gonna go over the platform today, guys. Uh, that's some, something I wanted to ask you. How are you doing with the platform? What section are you in? You should be in section um, one and one and two, section one and two. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Very good. Did you already finish that? I had a problem in the section two. All right, with one. Okay, we're gonna go over that. Don't worry. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna. We're gonna do that at the end. All right. So we're gonna take. Uh, we're gonna take uh, the last five minutes to go over the the answers from the platform ten or five minutes. Okay, from the from okay. from the class. Okay. So anyways, let's move on. So yesterday we said that we're talking about um, we're talking we're talking about infinity phrases, right? And what are infinity phrases? Do you remember? We can use infinity phrases as uh, as what? Tell me, because I don't know. You guys are my teachers. <laughs> So you tell me. We can use infinity phrases as nouns, right? Uh, as the subject or the object of the sentence. Is that right? Can we use it like that, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes, we can, you know, we can we can use it like that, right? So Okay, so yesterday you gave me examples, and we know that an infinitive phrase is composed, uh, composed of two things. What are the two things that it's composed of? This, I'm gonna ask individually, guys. If you're not participating, I'll need to ask individually. Okay, so let's see, right? Welcome, guys. Welcome, people who joined just now. Right. So, Jaime, what is the what are the two things that an infinitive phrase is composed of from the classroom yesterday? Que son los dos compuestos de un infinitive phrase? That's what I'm asking. Tell 
tell me, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I don't know, teacher, but I think it's two uh, plus a verb. Exactly. Exactly. Good answer. Thank you very much. Right. So, yes, indeed, it is two plus a verb, right? Exactly. Right. There you go. Yes, that's an infinitive phrase, right? And an infinitive phrase can be used as what? It can be used as two things, right? Like this part right here can be used as a subject. Subject. Also, okay. And it can also be used as the object of the sentence, right? Very good, guys. So today, today we're going to talk about gerund phrases. So we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about gerund phrases, and basically a gerund phrase is the ing form of a verb, right? However, it's the ing form of a verb that works as a noun. So, for example, if I say, let's say, let's say that I said something like this, right? So, if I said, guys, he is writing. Uh, news article so this for example right do you think that this is um is this a germ no oh why not because it's present continuous all right guys wow i'm very surprised you know that okay all right, okay. All right, so what do you mean it's, it's in present continuous? So you cannot have gerunds in present continuous? Or what? Maybe. Maybe, okay, all right, very good. Okay, we're gonna talk about that, okay? So if you don't know, guys, right now what he's talking about, um, no worries. Don't worry, right? We're gonna we're gonna go over that. We're gonna learn that. But yeah, in this case, guess that's not a gerund. So the the problem that many people have is that um, people think that a gerund a gerund is um, a gerund is a phrase that you know it's it's a verb in ing, right? Which is true. It it is a verb in ing. But not because, you know, not, 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 that doesn't make it a gerund, right? That's the thing. That's not the reason why that is a gerund. So what do you mean by that? Okay. So for example, do you think guys that working can be a gerund? Sleeping can be a gerund? Do you think that, um, what else? What other verbs do we have in ING? What other verbs in ING can you, can you guys give me? Please. Plain, cooking, right? Plain, right? So plain, cooking. What else? Jumping. Jumping. All right. What else? What? Listening. Uh, listening. Okay. Okay. So we got plain, ready, right? Uh, eating. Eating. Okay. Eating. All right. Walking, right? So Myers is walking. Running. Running. Okay. So in this case, all right, and, and we got running or keep very good. If you say guys the walking dead, right? Have you ever watched that show? Yes. All right. So if you say the walking dead, right? Is that a gerund? Yes. Yes. Why would that be a gerund? I think uh, not. You think not? Why not? Because I don't know. You guys know. About a serious um, subject. Um. Okay. All right. Because the the whole name is a subject. Okay. What else, guys? Uh. Because uh. There, um, I don't know, functions as uh, a noun. Or the verb. 
something like oh, that. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, very good. So your answer, guys, yes or no? Is this a gerund, yes or no? Because that's not that's also not a present continuous action, right? Right? Because somebody say, hey, you know what? You cannot use this as a gerund because it's a present continuous action. Okay. Got it, bro. It, and you're right. So is this a gerund? This is not a continuous action, right? It, it, is it a gerund, yes or no? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So you have one, zero dollars. Okay, because that is incorrect. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, okay? This guy's right here is not a gerund, okay? The reason why, oh, hold on, before that, if I say, guys, I am walking to my house, is this a gerund? No. No, right? So if I say the walking dead, I am walking to my house, those are not gerunds, right? But let's talk about the first one. The reason why, guys, is because when we say walking, uh, basically, guys, a gerund, right? A gerund works as a noun, okay? It's the same as a noun. So a noun can be Cheyenne, remember? Yes. Right? We were talking about Cheyenne yesterday, right? If you're, right, we're talking about uh, our, our, our dad, right? So, so if we said, you know, that can we say the Cheyenne dead? Can we say that? That wouldn't make sense, right? The Cheyenne dead would not be, oh. make sense. So in no. order for it to make sense, it needs to work as a noun. That is the thing, okay? <clears throat> so for it to make sense, it needs to work as a noun, all right? And if it doesn't work as a noun, then it's not a gerund. And that is what we need to learn. Nothing, right? It can't be a gerund if it isn't working as a noun, okay? So in this case, right, walking is not working as a noun. What is it working as? What is walking doing in this sentence? Let's see if Dad. we can solve it. It is modifying, right? It is modifying dead. So what do we call something that modifies or describes a noun? It's or an adjective. Exactly, right? So this right here is working as an adjective. And because it's working as an adjective, this is not a gerund, okay? It's an adjective. It's working as an adjective. It's a present participle that is working as a gerund, okay? okay. So far so good? Yeah. All right. All right. Very good. So, okay. So remember, a gerund is a noun, right? So in the example, when we say, I am running right now, is this a gerund? I am running. Is running a gerund? No. No, right? Because this is an action that is happening right now. It is not working as a noun. We got a pronoun, right? We can say, you know, Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne is running right now, right? This is the subject of the sentence. This is the, the con, you know, the continuous verb, okay? And this is working as an adverb because it's modifying running, et cetera. But you don't need to know about this yet, okay? In any case, right, that's what we got. So if we said, so how can we, how can we use this as a noun? How can we use an ing form of a verb as a noun? Tell me. You guys are the experts. Remember, it just needs to work as a noun. So how can you use an ing verb as a noun? Uh, I'm not really sure, but maybe, for example, working with you is hard. All right. So working, right? 
working for you is hard. Very good. Now, in this case, I want to ask somebody else. Okay? Thank you very much, man. That's, that's an awesome example. Is this a gerund? Yes, no, and why, ladies and gentlemen? Working for you is hard. Yes or no? Let's make it an easier example, okay? Because we have the for you part here, all right? Now, we should say working is hard, like this, okay? Where is the subject here, right? Let's, let me ask you that question. Where is the subject? Working. Working, right, exactly. So in this case, working is working as the subject, right? This is a subject right here. And a subject can only be two things. What can the object, the, the subject be? Noun. Right? The subject, the, the subject can be two things. It can be a noun. The pronoun. Or uh, pronoun. Pronoun, right? So, um, so it can be nouns. I mean, it can be nouns or pronouns, right? So in this case, it's working as pronouns. So you can say instead of working, you could say what? You could say Cheyenne, right? See, now that would be hard. Sense, right? Cheyenne is hard, right? <laughs> All right, very good. So anyways, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is not a good example. All right, very good. So, okay, so if we said, you know, um, I don't know if we said uh uh Dualupe is eating. Is this a gerund or no? It's a verb. All right. It's a wait, so whenever it represents a continuous action, it's called a present participle. Okay. How do we call it? Present participle. Continuous action, okay. All right, so a present participle, it's an ing form that represents a continu action, continuous action, right? And a gerund, and this would be an example, right? Um, he is singing, for example, right? And this, right, would be a gerund. Mm, singing, hold on, all right, this represents, all right, it acts as a noun, okay? So example, an example could be, an example can be um, singing is good, right? Do you see that? Do you see the difference, ladies and gentlemen, of them two? What is the big difference here? In the first example, singing is a continuous action. In the second one is a noun. Okay, very good, exactly. In the first example, right, he is singing. Singing represents a continuous action. And in the second example, singing is a noun. Think about it. When we say guys, singing is good, is any continuous action happening or no? No, you're just talking about singing and you say it's good. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So, so, okay. So we're using, we're using, remember, if, if it is a noun, a noun can be two things. What can a noun be? A noun and a pronoun. A noun. A noun can be a noun. Can be oh, sorry. Things. Sorry. What do you think?
So, guys, it can be a subject and the subject or the object of the sentence, okay? All right? It can be a subject or an object. So, in this case, yes, working is hard. Um, is that, um, what is that working as? As a subject. Very good. So, it's working as the subject, right? Right. So mm -hmm. how can we have an example? So so can we can we use a gerund as the object of the sentence? Sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you say? So can you give me can you give me examples of uh, gerunds working as objects? It's not yet. Not yet. Okay. All mm. right. Very good. So do my favor, guys. Okay, we're gonna do two, we're gonna do one thing right now. Okay. Take a screenshot. All right. Take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. All right. And I want you guys to give me ten examples right now in your notebook. Ten examples of gerunds. Okay, working as the subject of a sentence, okay? So 10 examples, all right? So I'm gonna get you together into groups and you're gonna give me these, uh, these 10 examples, all right? So todo mundo me van a dar 10 ejemplos de gerunds funcionando como sujetos de oraciones, okay? In couples, sounds good? Okay, that's good. All right, so let's go then, and I'm gonna get you the. We're gonna get you into the groups, okay? Let's join quickly, guys, so we can, so we can work on this. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You can take the screenshot right. All right, very good, guys. So let's go. Let's join Maximo, Luis.
cooking is my my favorite hobby. Will be one. Um, also, watching TV is my favorite um, activity or something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Uh, sorry, Sylvia. What, what is your example? Because you say something, but I couldn't help, uh, hear you. Okay, so. <laughs> Sorry? Let me see. Um, <laughs> okay. Another example, uh, maybe. Mm. Um, learning something. Sorry? Luis, uh, teacher, I'm alone. alone in, in the room three. I don't know what happened. Okay, hold on. Let me get you together with somebody else, okay? Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Cl climbing, climbing is dangerous. Another one. Uh, running is a good exercise. Yeah. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. mm, working out is healthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Working out. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's see another example. Mm -hmm. What can ten minutes per day is is better than Mm. Working. Walking. Ah, uh, walking, walking. Uh huh. Walking. Walking ten minutes per day is is better than playing video games three minutes per day. I don't know. Walking ten minutes. You can say listening, listening to Rocky's music is very motivational. <laughs> yes, yes, Rocky. Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, my parents watch. Um, I don't know, Rocky Four, Rocky Five. I, I don't know. They're good, man. They're good. Walking ten minutes per day is it's healthy. Healthy. Than, it's healthy. Yeah. Okay, healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need five more. Oh my God. Now let's see. Eating carrots is. Mm, mm, I don't remember this. Mm, I don't know. Um, well, I could be too. Swimming is my favorite sport. What did you say at the beginning? 
swimming. Is my oh, swimming. favorite uh, sport. Sport. It's my favorite sport. I don't know why, but I can hear you correctly. But mm, me, can you write that uh, in the chat? Okay. Because I don't know why I hear a little bit echo, but maybe it's my earphone. Let me check. Oh, <laughs> that makes more sense <laughs> because I heard you uh, singing. Sorry, it was my fault. It was my headset, maybe. Oh, it's raining. Takes too much time, yeah. Oh, too mucho. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Basketball. Jaime. He he playing to fast basketball. Playing, playing, mm. playing, playing. Ah, uh -huh, playing to fast. Basketball, rápido, fast. Uh -huh. Playing basketball is too fast. Mm. Basketball. Fast. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I have 10 sentences. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, playing is very tired. Singing is so difficult. Climbing is dangerous. Running is a good exercise. Walking 10 minutes per day is healthy. Eating carrot is good for your eyes. Traveling is my passion. Skateboarding is my favorite hobby. Drinking water is good for your health. Playing basketball is too fast. Yeah. Great job, guys. Okay. Great job. We're gonna we're, we're gonna go back now, okay? Okay. All right. All right, welcome back, guys. So uh, I listened to some of your examples and um, let's see what else we got here, okay? So <clears throat> let's go with, all right, so let's start with uh, Mario Oriana. All right, could you please share one of your examples? Mario? All right, let's go. Uh, yes. Let's see. Um, 
walking 10 minutes per day is healthy. All right, okay, now says subjects. Okay, so you said walking, right? Walking 10 minutes per day is healthy. Okay, all right, we got this. Thank you very much. Walking 10 minutes per day is healthy. All right. Um, so is this a gerund? Walking 10 minutes per day is healthy? What do you think, guys? This one is, what do you think? Based on what I understand, it's a, it's a, it's a gerund, yeah. It is a gerund, why? Mm, I don't know because uh, you describe uh, the verb, not the action related to that verb, uh, related to a subject. I don't know. Okay. It's a gerund. It's a gerund because walking is uh, is in function. <laughs> it's a noun. It's a noun. It's a noun. It's so the the answer is yes. 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 <laughs> Anal analyze, guys, analyze it, okay? If, okay. So analyze. I want to know if this word only, if the word is a noun. Yes, it's a noun. It's a noun. Okay. So. Oh, wait. Where is the subject? Joaquin. All right, so let's substitute walking for Cheyenne. Cheyenne, yeah. uh -huh. Cheyenne, 10 minutes per day is healthy. Is that, is that, is this correct? Cheyenne, 10 minutes per day is healthy? No. No, <laughs> no right? Cheyenne is not, mm. Cheyenne should be an action. If this is a an action, not? what is this then? This is a present participle. All right, a present participle that is working as what? It's working as an adjective because it's modifying, it's modifying 10, ten minutes, minutes per okay? Mm -hmm. 10 is also an adjective, do you know that? Because it's modifying minutes, okay? So walking uh -huh. is modifying 10 minutes. Okay, so this is like saying, right? So imagine this, right? You can say, um, excellent, right? Or you know what? Uh, quick, quick, ten minutes a day. Quick, uh, quick, ten minutes. Quick, ten minutes a day or per day, right? is healthy right so now this would be right this would be an adjective right that is modifying this does that make sense so walking walking remember the present participles can work can work as adjectives an adjective modifies uh, mm -hmm. modifies nouns right they they uh, describe nouns okay so we're describing 10 minutes so this phrase in this phrase, walking is not working as a subject. Now, todos tenemos claro porque walking aquí no es un, un, un sustantivo, yes or no? ¿Ves? ¿Quién, quién está confundido con walking, con esta frase? Que esto está incorrecto. Who's, who's confused here? Nobody? Todos entendimos entonces porque walking 10 minutes uh, per day is healthy. Um, so do we understand why this is not a, this is not a, um, a, a, a gerund? I understand that it's not a gerund because it's modifying the 10 minutes. <laughs> exactly, uh, right? So this yeah. is great. Tell me, tell me. Uh, would it be correct if I say 
Walking every day is healthy. Walking every day is healthy. I want to let your your classmates answer this. What do you think, guys? Yes or no? To me, no, because if I substitute walking with Cheyenne, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Cheyenne every day is healthy. Yeah. Todavía no. Se siente mal. Se durmió. Se durmió. Okay, think about this, okay? Where is the subject of the sentence? They. They? We're walking. No, because we are talking about walking. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. What else, guys? What else? Is it, is it a noun or not? Yes, it's a noun. Why? Mm -hmm. So we said, right, like you could say Cheyenne, Cheyenne every day is healthy, right? Right, would that be something that makes sense? Or no? No. no? All right, so you think that that's a present participle? If it is a present participle, what, what kind of, like, what is it working as? What do you think? So, yes, guys, it is. All right. In this case, to answer your question, if you say walking every day is healthy, Right, we're not referring as walking as a continuous action. Okay, we're work. We we um we are referring to walking, right, as the subject of the sentence. Right. If we get rid of this, right. If we get rid of this, we can say walking is healthy. Right. Mm -hmm. So yes, in this case, that is a noun. All right. Very good. So uh, what other example do we have, guys? <clears throat> Teacher, uh, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. In the phrase, um, driving buses is more complicated than driving cars. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is um, your question? That is a, a, a gerund, driving buses. Yes. Or, or parted to this things. is a gerund and this is a gerund because they're working as nouns. Driving buses is more complicated than driving cars. Okay. okay. Well, actually, hold, hold on. What do you think, guys? Is it or not? Is it or, 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 or not? Is that a gerund or not? Because we have buses afterwards, right? Which is which is another noun. So we can say driving is more complicated than driving, right? Then driving is complicated, for example, right? We will be sure that that's a gerund. But what about this? Is it modifying something else? 
What do you think? For example, dri driving okay. buses is complicated. It's a gerund. It, driving is a, 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 a noun. A subject, a buses, buses is complicated is a subject. Because in, the, in this case, if you compare two uh, situations, uh, always is a uh, noun, driving buses, uh, driving cars, or no? <laughs> yes, it is a gerund, man. <clears throat> it, it is a gerund. But it is a gerund if, um, like driving buses, right? Driving buses is actually the whole subject, okay? And here's the thing. Um, this driving buses, right? These two things are, are getting combined here, okay? But when you said, hey, you know, what is the, what is the subject of the sentence, right? That would be like driving buses, okay? Now driving cars, right? Driving cars is also working as, um, now this is working as, uh, not as a subject, right? This is working as the, as an object of the sentence, right? Mm -hmm. But yes, you can say driving buses is more complicated than driving cars and driving here with, uh, because it's combined, you know, like this is combined, right? It works as a gerund too. However, if we talk about, if, if we do this, right? If we only talk about driving, driving in the sense of uh, like just the word itself, in that case, this will not be a gerund because this is modifying bosses. It's like saying uh, pretty bosses, right? Like saying pretty, pretty, and then bosses, right? It works as an as a, it works as a, as an adjective. So, mm -hmm. if you wanted to say, you know, hey, what is the what is the the subject of this sentence? Okay, the subject would be these two words right here. Okay. And this right here, then, then yeah, in that case, you know, this, right? This this is uh this is called a gerund phrase. Okay. But uh but the word itself driving is not a gerund, right? That's working as a present participle because it's working as an adjective, okay? But we're good. We're good, we're good, okay. Um, all right, do we have another example? Let's hear Sylvia. What's your example? Okay. A sleeping the what? Sleeping? What? Sleeping is good? Yeah. All right. Yes, you can say sleeping is good, right? They, yeah, that is a gerund, right? What else, guys? What other example do we have? Um, connecting flow. Connecting what? Connecting is slow. Connecting is slow? Yes. Yeah. Okay, connecting is slow, all right? Um, let's hear the Jamie, Jamie Lopez. All right, what example do you have? I'm sorry, what? It's a good way to relax. Okay, I think it's raining where you're at, and that's why I can't hear you too well. So you're saying sleep. I'm sorry, did you catch that, guys? Did you? Can you tell me what she said if you understood? Because it's raining, I can't hear you. Um, okay, oh, reading is good. Okay, reading is a good way to relax, right? Very good. So yes, reading is a good way to relax, right? So then in this case, yes, that is a gerund, okay? Well done. Um, who's missing? Who's missing? Um, Jaime, did you give me your example? He playing fast to basketball. She's playing basketball fast. That would be the right sentence, right? She, yeah. if we say, you know, she's playing basketball, right? Playing is working as a continuous action, not as a noun, right? So this is not a gerund, okay? This is a present participle. So that, that would be incorrect. 
you can say, you know, playing basketball, right? Playing basketball is nice, all right? So then in that case, you know, that would be working as a gerund, okay? All right, very good. So I got another question for you guys, okay? Now, remember that they work as nouns, right? And nouns can also work as as objects. So instead of saying slipping is good, right? So this phrase, let's go with this one, right? Slipping is good. We can change the order, right? And we can say it is good. It is good sleeping. Can we say this? Can can we say yes, th this yes or no? This is actually a very good example because this is an exception, okay? If you want to turn this, all right, if you want to turn, you can use this as a, as a, as a subject, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want to use this as the object of the sentence, and for this, the, the reason why, right? Because, because of this, right? So you need to say it is good to sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you say it is good sleeping, that would be incorrect because certain phrases cannot be used with gerunds. All right. But can we say, you know, <clears throat> driving, driving fast, right? Driving fast is dangerous. Right? Can we say, and this is another example, right? It is dangerous to drive fast. driving fast. No, right? We need to say it is dangerous to drive fast. Okay. Right? We okay. have, let's see, another example. What if we wanted to say, um, oh, this. Swimming, right? Swimming is nice. We would need to say, it is nice to swim. To swim. Right? So we can still use them. We can still use them as object of sentences, but in, a, in, a, in an example like this, okay? We can say, Cheyenne enjoys swimming. Got it? So now in this case, Remember, the object is whatever or whoever receives the action, right? So in this case, swimming is receiving the action of enjoy. So in this case, swimming is working as a noun, yes or no? Right? Yes. So we can use it as, this would be an object, right? Mm -hmm. So swimming is working as the object of the sentence and it, because it's working as a noun, okay? All right, we're gonna practice more examples on that tomorrow. Right now, guys, uh, I'd like to know if you have questions. Do you have any questions? We're good? All right, so in that case, let's go over the platform, okay? So I heard that you're having some issues with section number two. Could you do me a favor, ladies and gentlemen, could you be so kind to share yours? Open the platform and share your screen to show me what type of um, things you have, you know, what type of uh, questions you're having issues with. Mine is taking a long time to load, but that's because of their servers. Teacher, tell me. In the unit two, two Can you point share your screen? two. Mm. Okay. It's just, it's just. I'm trying to share mine, guys, but the platform is not opening for me. Ah, okay. It's taking a real long time. That's the reason why. Right. So, but yeah, it's it's taking a very long time for me. If one come up, you know, 
see, I'm trying to load my platform, you know, and it has not allowed me. Okay, this is what we're gonna do, okay? Cause I, yeah, it's not loading. It's not my internet cause it happens, you know, it happens a lot of time. Does this happen to you guys? Does it take a long time for you to load sometimes? No. No? Okay, teacher, in the, I shared in the WhatsApp group. Okay, now this is what we're gonna do, okay? Cause it's not, I need to share my screen so I can give you the, the, the answers. So what we're gonna do guys is that, oh, it just opened, hold on. Now it opens, All right, hold on. So we're gonna go over section number two here. All right, so in section number two, we got this one, right? I'm just gonna share the answers here, guys. So for number one, you can say, taking care of children must be very challenging, period. Remember mm -hmm. to use punctuation, right, right? Number two, working on movies, on a movie set, uh, sounds fascinating, period. Pretty, um, then making a living as an artist could be pretty difficult, period. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're going to have a period here. And working as an architect sounds interesting. Right? Those are the answers for these questions. Okay. Now. Can you repeat the number three, Tisha? Yes, you can. You can always. All right, this will this will be recorded, right? So you can always watch it on. But that that is the answer for number two. I just sent it to the chat. Okay. All right. And then what else do we have here? Well, this is just selecting. So, <laughs> like that that was the only one you had to fill out your answers and right. So that's it, guys. Okay, those are the question. Those are the answers for these. For all of this, okay. So I sent you number three in the chat. So if you type it in like that, that's gonna be the right answer. That, that's gonna give you the, the, the point, okay? All right, guys, do we have any questions? Are we good? Yes, I just need to read a little bit more about this. And yes. That's it. That's awesome, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, ni nice headphones, man. I like them. All right, so guys, it's I a little bit see... broken, but yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, so you had the other side. I thought they were like that. Like no, it's side. like that, but I don't oh. know. This doesn't work currently. Oh, okay. I got it. Got it. Okay, very good. So, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Okay, goodbye, teacher.